Jack, you know we're bestest buds, but I'm pretty sure you said I could do this. If not, really sorry. And uh, I owe you one barge, okay? <laughs> What is going on you guys? My name is CPK and welcome back to another episode of Harmony Hollow. It's been a little while actually. I think it's been about a week since my last episode. Maybe a little more. Obviously we had a whole bunch going on with the whole one life purge and then uh, we went to the end cities and stuff. Now we had Cutecraft starting and obviously Harmony Hollow's had to take a little backseat for a second. But don't worry, we're back and no more backseats. And uh, I need to sleep because it's daytime and I'm going to burn. Okay, so I hear from uh, multiple people, one of them being Jack, that we have some new recruits. And uh, also, you guys have not stopped telling me about it in the comment section of every video that I post ever. So thank you guys for keeping me uh, up to date. Obviously, I do know now. Oh, I forgot I had this bag of holding and stuff. I do now know that Ice Cold and Brit are both now vampires, meaning Fang has expanded to five whole members. I'm not sure who that leaves as vampire hunters, but I think it's just Lauren and Scott. I don't see how they can win a war when there's five of us. That doesn't make any sense because we're stronger anyway. But I think today's the day we need to go and visit Ice Cold because he did give us 20 emeralds, which um, sadly we actually don't need now. But a deal was a deal. I did say I would give him two vampirism books for the emeralds. And he did do that. So that wouldn't be fair of me to not give him it. I am going to hide. Not really hide because you can kind of see everything in there. But uh, I'm going to put a totem in here. It's getting it looks cool, isn't it? Look at that. Look at my little funky totem. I'm quite sad about these two guys dying. These were my uh, good pals, John Sullivan and John West. And uh, they died. So did my hamster. All because of Jack, too. Jack killed them with fireworks. But let's see what we've got in this bag because I completely forgot. Vampire Slayer book. Yeah, I don't know why I took that. Bane of the Arthropods. We got a whole bunch of uh, fireworks. Cursed lassos. Nice little Yu Longbow there. Okay. I mean, nothing crazy. We didn't get anything, like, too mental when we went on our little trip. But um, the things we did get were the Totems of Undying, which is fantastic. Now, I might give a Totem of Undying to either Brit or Ice Cold, because I have two. Let me know what you think about that, whether I should or not. I can't believe it's still snowy at spawn. Like, hello. It hasn't been Christmas for way over a month now. Let's see if there's been any changes at the spawn area. Are there new things? What's this? Oh, it's the Chai Shop. Okay, that was already there. That's the Mystery Box Shop. That's fine. This still isn't open. Gotta say, really been waiting a while now, Phoenix and Delph. Whoa, what is this? Not yet open. Go away. Hey, listen. You can't just park a bunch of cars out here and expect me to just go away. That's not how this works, okay? I need to know more. Is this a car dealership? I want to buy a vehicle. Wait, I already have a car. I don't need one. Never mind. What is this? That's already been there. Ooh, what's this? Mitty Sweets. Oh, this looks cute. Oh my goodness. Five dollars? Mitty, are you crazy? I am not paying five dollars for some candy. Please, that's too expensive. No, 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 no. I'm leaving. I don't like overpriced sweets, okay? I think that's everything that's new. I think everything is good there. Right, I'll try to find the teleporter room. I've actually gone way past it. And luckily, we can actually get in now. No more mischief with the invisible blocks. Right, where is Ice's? Ice cold. Here he is. Boom. Okay, so still the same little house. Nice. Has he done any work to it yet? Okay, Ice, what is going on here? Although I respect this. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to leave the vampire books in here. If you guys could go and tell Ice Cold where they are, I can't be bothered to leave a sign. You're going to have to go to Ice Cold and let him know that I've left him some vampire books in there. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. You can go and tell him. But I think that's all we need to do. Unless oh, there's some like secret vampire lair around here. Oh, he's already got the wings. My goodness. Everyone's coming on and advancing so much quicker than I advanced. Like, it's crazy how quick everything is happening. Let's head back. Let's go see what Brit's been doing with her newfound vampirism. Where is Brit's house? Brit? Brittany, Brittany, where is your house? Aha, Brit. Okay, so that's got to be like a vampire house or something, right? That's normal house. It looks more vampy than it did, I swear. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Let's see what's out here. Hello. Is this an AFK fishing farm? It is. What? She's AFK fishing? Brit is bringing over the strategies from One Life right on into this. Maybe that's something I'll do in Cutecraft, actually. Make a little AFK fish farm. Were there always stables over here? I don't feel like I've ever really explored Brit's plot. Just a couple of bulls. They're hungry and thirsty. Brit, take better care of your animals. Come on. They're hungry and thirsty. Let's see what you got going on inside your actual house. Why do you now need a boat to go to your house? What's going on? Where's your vampire stuff? I want to see proof that you're about... <gasps> The altar of inspiration. It's true. She really has turned. Holy moly. 
What's going on? Why am I? Ah, I've been diffused. Why would you do this? I thought she was one of us now. If she was really one of us, where's her coffin? <gasps> it's right there. She really did change. Not that I didn't trust Jack or anything. You know, it's just I really didn't think Brit would ever change. I thought Brit was pretty solid set in there as a vampire hunter. She's always been uh, one of the good ones of the server. So I was quite surprised to find out that she was willing to change. But here we are in a world where the vampires are taking over. Oh my goodness. What a time to be alive. The only problem now that I have the wings is that when this happens and I run out of blood to drink, I can't do fall damage death anymore because when you have wings, you don't take any fall damage. So I need to go and find some like thorns to go and nestle myself in. Hello? Where are the thorns? Thorns? Okay, here we go. Some thorns. Yay. Let's play in the thorns. Yay. Oh, uh, and we got the bug where I spawned inside myself. I wonder what happens if I throw an ender pearl now. Ah! Oh, Jesus! What is going on? Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so lesson learned. Never throw an ender pearl while you're stuck inside your own wings because that is how you make the game have some sort of very aggressive seizure. And we don't want that now, do we? No, not at all. You know what I will do? Because we got the emeralds now, I will trade this guy for his map. Woodland Explorer map six. Okay. Oh, and another compass. Do I have another compass? Hello, compass? Maybe I should make a compass. I mean, I might as well get the Woodland Mansion map, right? Somehow I've managed to have literally zero redstone. It's redstone right there. It's a good thing I double check things. If my chests were organized, this would be a much easier job, but I never do. I can never be bothered to keep up with it. It's so much hard work. Okay, and another clock. There we go. So now we can actually get our own woodland mansion from this kind gent right here. Thank you, kind sir. Woodland map number six. That looks eerily suspiciously like the other one I have. What? I'm furious. Woodland map number three. Woodland map number six. They're the same place. I just got the exact same woodland mansion, but they're different numbers, three and six. What? I didn't even know that was possible. Well, that is an absolute waste of all my emeralds. I'm angry. I'm really angry. What the heck in the heck? Well, what an absolutely huge, massive waste of time. Okay, great. Sure. Let's go and visit Jack. And see if Jack's house has anything going on that's different or new. Jack's house is always a place where there's a bunch of shenanigans. So I like to just come by and check, see if anyone's pranked him, see if anyone's done anything to him. Because, you know, he seems to make a lot of enemies. I wouldn't know why, but he does seem to make a lot of enemies. Oh, Jesus. The gas noise made me scared. Oh, God. Right, you have a brown bear here and a polar bear here. That's literally animal cruelty. Okay, why has everyone got a mailbox all of a sudden? Oh, ow. Jesus. That's dangerous. It's pretty cool, though. But it's definitely dangerous. Oh, God. Hello. Who are you? Oh, uh, the gas has started to set fire to things now. That is not good. Imagine if fire spread was on. Uh-oh. <gasps> Lauren and Scott stole Fang 3? Oh, my God. Jack, if you're watching this, you need any help getting Fang 3 back. You let me know. I will not let them do this to you. Okay, honestly, though, his house seems relatively normal. It doesn't seem like anything bad's happened, really. I'm not sure how you get to visit the polar bear. I want to make sure the polar bear's all right. Is it in his living room? Oh, it's here. Hi, bud. Hi. Oh, it's Cleopatra, of course. Cleo, what are you doing in here? How long has Cleo been in here? Have I just never noticed this? Well, clearly nothing interesting has happened here. Oh, is it blown this up? Jesus Christ! It started to set fire to stuff around it. You need to relax. Oh, for goodness sake. Now look. Right, just stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. Right, gas, I need to... We're gonna have a serious problem in a minute. Just stop it. You are making yourself look ridiculous. Oh, God, now you're blowing up his house. Stop. She is literally shooting through the roof at this point. Oh, there we go. She can't see me there somehow. Okay. I also like how I keep saying she. Did we even name it? Is naming it a bit dangerous? Oh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's name it. Why not? Where's his anvil? Fallen soldier tribute. What, what is going on? Jack ends up with some weird stuff, doesn't he? Oh, right, here's an anvil. Great. Name tag. So he's got Cleopatra, Augustus, and he's going to have Philippe. There we go. Philippe is uh, going to be the name of his ghast. If we can get close enough to name tag it. It might not work. I might end up dead here. Okay. This is all about the timing. So we're going to get close enough so she doesn't shoot, but we can name her. And yes, I know it's now a girl called Philippe. Right. Okay. Go. No, missed it. I can't get in close enough. No. I'm going to have to mine these. Okay. There we go. Now I can get in. Okay. Here we go. Go. Go now. Yes. I got it. Look. Philippe is born. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, right. Philippe, you're being ridiculous. So yes, that is a female gas named Philippe now. That's just the way it is. You got to deal with it, I'm afraid, because that's just the way this game works. How is this like mob museum thing coming along? Is this uh, making any progress here yet? Because it looks pretty cool. I'd love to come and visit it, but it doesn't seem like we're making any real progress with it. Whoever is making this, if you need any help, you hit me up. Oh, it's from Ashran Elf. Okay. Oh, Ashran Elf, you should not leave such juicy treats around while there is a uh, hungry vampire on the loot. I'm not going to take anything right now, but uh, be warned. Some things may go missing from that if you decide to leave it there. That is your warning. Take it as you will. And now we move into what is going to be uh, the final segment of this episode. Don't worry, I'm sure you're going to love it. Or hate it. It depends. So I'm just going to go ahead. Just don't mind what's happening here, okay? It's literally fine. No one needs to panic. So you may remember in a previous episode, Jack was talking about how he really wanted to get rid of his barge, but the fans would not let the barge go. And I jokingly said, haha, it's okay. I'll destroy it for you. Well, today's that day. So, uh, you know, I'm sure Jack's not going to be mad. I did message him on Skype, but he hasn't answered me and I'm going to level with you. I don't really have time to wait. So I'm literally just going to blow it up. So, I mean, if I put one there, put one there you think, oh, let's, let's see if jack has any gunpowder lying around i just remember that it is nighttime and i can come and get my own gunpowder from creepers i don't know how that didn't cross my mind before but now it has so we're just gonna fly around murder some creepers get some more tnt life is good a few moments later okay here we go this looks much better now we got much more tnt i'll do four up here i think and then let's go make sure we try and hit summer down here as well i mean oh god oh no god it's next to redstone jesus i didn't think that through Okay, I don't know if that's actually going to set off because it's quite far away. But you know what? Let's find a way out. Jack, you know where bestest buds. But I'm pretty sure you said I could do this. If not, really sorry. And uh, I owe you one barge, okay? Goodbye, Jack's thing. Oh, okay. So they weren't even close enough to chain react. That's embarrassing. Okay, so we're going to do it in bits. There we go. I really thought that would hit at least that bit. Um. Oh, God. <gasps> no! I burned. Oh, oh my God. It's me. What is going on here? Okay, I have no idea if this works, but this should set them off, right? Oh, there we go. Hooray. Finally. Ah, that feels good. There we go. That's what we wanted. A little bit of chain reaction. Now just to get rid of... Oh, God. Help me. Fly upwards. Ooh. Oh, I think that looks much better. Jack's barge is looking sweet. Well, I think I've done him and the entire world a favor now. You guys are so welcome, okay? So welcome. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure to leave a like. I have been CPK, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.